Okay, looks like y'all calmed down with the damn near 300 views video so I can talk about my passion. Boy, howdy is it a passion. I got a real hankering to talk about this. I should talk. stop with the Texas accent now. Saloon! The RPG I'm working on, personally, on our website for our company, Conquer Creations, I'll link it down below. I got to test it twice, actually, and made changes as a result. First, I need to add some more equipment and abilities, but that'll come with the full release of the game. So, you won't be seeing any more of that on the PDF. Second, I added a map system, which needs a bit of work, but honestly, I really like how it's coming out. But... I definitely need some feedback. I have it set up using hexagonal tessellation maps, which I personally prefer to, you know, normal square maps. Which, doing this, I realize I'm going to need to make custom maps to sell in, on our website when it inevitably comes up. Your character will be able to move three hexes while a standard horse can move eight hexes in a round. Oh yeah, I added mounts too. Horses, rams, magic carpets, and what I called a steam spider, and the hippocampus for water-based games. There's a charge action for melee and unarmed combat to make it so guns aren't stupid overpowered. I also added a lot of stuff stuff for unarmed combat can do, since they're the one combat style that doesn't get a whole lot of weapons. We've got the combo striker system, and I'm intending to add grapple and such. There's also cover for ranged weapons. Wait, did I actually add that yet? I don't think I did shit. Okay, gotta fix that after recording this, hopefully it'll be up. Before the video on Monday, we, we'll see what happens. Anywho, movement is something I really need to test out. And I very much appreciate people testing it out. But I added more as well on top of just the movement and things that might make combat a bit more interesting to the game and a little more fun, I'm hoping. Anywho, hopefully the movement will balance combat and or melee and ranged a bit. I've also added damage types as well. Three different ones, though I definitely should add some elemental ones and specify some abilities as well. I've got cutting, puncturing, and concussive weapon types. So far, here's what they do. Cutting is your basic swords and stuff, you know? When you deal cutting damage, it can actually give detrimental bonuses to weapon attacks, whether it's melee or range. Puncturing are weapons like guns and such, and a few melee stabbing weapons too. When you get 21 on a hand, you can actually deal four times as much damage, or take four times as many luckies from the pile rather than twice as many that would normally come from getting 21. Then we've got concussive weapons, which are like hammers and clubs and a few shotgun types. Those uh, end up causing problems to, to magic users, to magicians. When you get 21 with your hand, they can actually hurt themselves instead of casting it normally so say they're using the sink or uh, shape environment or shape elements shape physical is what i called it you could cause it where they will melt themselves into the ground or make difficult terrain only for themselves that's honestly i think is a pretty interesting one that concussive because there really was no difference between hammers, swords, and spears to begin with. But now we've got a new mechanic I added, which I am really interested in because it actually gives the 
game master, the dealer, a character in the game, Death. Now, Death is the embodiment of the dealer, and it's how the dealer can actually talk to the players as himself. I have three mechanics for Death. First is the dealer's game. If you can convince the dealer, or rather Death's game, if you can convince Death or the dealer to play a single straight hand of blackjack, you have the chance of winning and the dealer has to follow the dealer's rules. If you beat him, you can end up coming back to life with one lucky in your pile, able to move or even make bets to gain a little bit more. Then we got cheating death, which you can use your lie addition in order to gain bonuses in your hand. If you succeed in that, death will know you cheated and will start sending more powerful things after you in order to, you know, take you out. Then there's the third option, a deal with death. You can make an offer to death, who, depending on what your dealer likes, you can legitimately buy your life with this. Whether it's in a character aspect or even breaking the fourth wall and you getting your dealer some chips or whatever the hell have you. I'm just saying, the fastest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Arguably his ribcage, but let's not talk about that. Now, I've changed a few abilities too, namely just balancing them out because someone pointed out to me hey i can use this multiple times in a single hand and as i've stated in the previous saloon video i want this game to be like an old west movie books i also you know take some inspiration from but movies are what i really want to base this game off of but some people will end up doing it differently. Hell, one of my players on Wednesday decided, actually, I want to base this off of a uh, Adeptus, me not Adeptus Mechanicus, a uh, Custodes from Warhammer 40k, which I just got a book for, actually, and I'm going to uh, try and review that. But it's going to be kind of difficult. Anywho, uh, I'm trying to figure out which playlist I'm going to put this into. I guess the review one, or... Perhaps the Conqueror Creations one? I don't know. I'll figure that out when I'm in the editing room. So, what I got to say is... Yeah. Please, do those things that the algorithm likes, because I really want Saloon to do well. I really need some eyes on it. Some opinions about it. I really need to hear those opinions, because I know my opinion is worthless if you've seen any of my reviews. At this point, I'm looking for an illustrator for Saloon, because we are getting really close to that point. Soon enough, I'll end up putting it, or Saloon, on Kickstarter to try and get our business really up and started. I've got estimations as to what we need, though realistically, we'll need a lot more than that if we want to start hiring people rather than just me and my buddy. But... Conquer Creations is on its way. We are working hard with several different systems, including a survival game and a war game. But we've not done near enough to really announce anything major like the actual Kickstarter for it. So, please, check out Saloon and maybe the two other games on our website and give feedback on them and, well... Shove off.